All right, this is the inside of a uh, Curry Enterprises. There we go. Uh, 350 watt DC permanent magnet motor. Four pull, you can see the four magnets. Also, there's the four brushes. There's your armature bearing on the back side. Bearing in this is the 608Z metric bearing. I tore it apart because I wanted to check and see uh, how it was set up inside. I was wondering if I was going to maybe drill holes through here uh, for cooling. I was going to look into that uh, and also through this then so I can move air uh, through here and maybe out through here. Um, not really sure if that's a direction I want to go. Uh, this isn't easily easy to tear apart. They just press the metal down on on the, the, the brush pad here. I'm not going to tear this apart yet, but the fun part though, as I can see now, is holding all the brushes back and uh, holding them back so that I can. Looks like probably the best way to do them would be to put, hold the brushes back, of course, keep the bearing on, and then uh, hold the brushes back. Or, or drop the bearing inside there then slide this in so they clear let the brushes come back out and then put this over uh, I've worked with other DC motors and with the brushes and a lot of times there's a uh, a small hole and you can put like a paper clip or something and hold them back put it in and then when you go then once it's all together you can pop them out so I might look at uh, drilling holes maybe from the back side up through these and, and maybe able to grab it. Um, if I did that, you know, I'd have to, maybe I could drill them and get down in down inside of here. I mean, see, right there's a little bit of metal there. Maybe drill down in there, or um, I'm not really sure. Or maybe catch it back here on the wire. That might not be a bad idea. Drill down in here, then catch on the this copper braid. That might be a not, might not be a bad idea on the copper braid. Um, that's what I'm looking at. Another thing I noticed too, um, I put tore this apart, is the motor's not square in the sense of when you put the plate on. They have notches in the cover here and here and you can see the you can see those notches right here and here and they match up with if you can see it right here there's a you know, they put a little notch in the cover or, you know push the metal displace some uh, metal and then that makes a notch to the inside which lines up but it's not in in the center of the magnet so they're advancing at least from what I can tell they're advancing uh, the brushes uh, in the forward position for this is a scooter motor so it was only really designed to power you know forward for a scooter so they're trying to optimize that motor for forward. So for my use in the in the you know live diesel, you know electric diesel ride on uh, purpose that the, these motors are going to be for, <clears throat> I wonder you know if that's going to be a problem. At least I'd have to make sure all the motors are on the trucks are in the same orientation so that when they're all going forward, when the, when the locomotive is moving forward. All the motors are in the same, they're all turning the same, 
you know, clockwise or counterclockwise in relation to the motor, the electric motor. So that if they're all advanced, and they're all pulling in advanced, and if they're retarded, then they're all pulling in the retarded. Um, that might be something. Here again, maybe, you know, maybe it doesn't play a part. I tore it apart because I was going to see if I could get rid of that, make a new mark, and then see if I could, uh, uh, you know, slide that or you know, move it back to square. That's kind of what started this whole thing, but I don't know if I'm going to to do that. So, and it looks like if you, there is enough room between magnets that you could you move the screw. Um, don't worry, what I did with the uh, the mount. I don't have the screws. When do I put the other? Oh, you can see one of these, they go in here, and they come up through. Um, they're probably not going to be in the center, though. It's probably, it rolls off to the one side to do the advance. But how much, I'm not sure. So I have to look at that and see if that's going to play a part. So that's the motor. Um, I guess these are ba factory balanced. They have, uh, they have some goo, you know, epoxy, probably, they put on there. And then, and a measured amount, and then they spun them at, at speed, probably to balance them. So I'm assuming that's probably a good sign, I guess. Um, so that's it. That's the Curry Curry Techno Curry, Curry Technologies model XYD-6D 24 volt DC 22 amp 350 watt scooter motor.